Yo, it's Eclipse. We back with an ECAST bonus episode. We got a topic we want to argue, debate, whatever you want to call it. It was your boys, Vice and Lamb in the building. Um, Lamb. Um, outside. I don't know where this nigga at. This nigga in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is a ghost. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, I'm so pretty. The darkness try to cover it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Do not exist. All right, but the you topic know, he... at hand that we would. Were... <laughs> We were kind of discussing. We ended the ECAST episode four with it. Should free to play? Should all games be free to play? Like across the board. That's our discussion, right? Should games be free to play? Yep. You know what? I'm saying yes. I think I'm. I'm what? thinking. I'm thinking yes. And you know what? I think yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. All the way. Games should be free. Yes. I'm tired of it. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna say no. The simple Get answer. Get out of here, bro. I'm just, oh go ahead. All right, so oh so I'm, a, I'm just gonna I'm gonna list a couple free to play games that just shit it on some of these full price games. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna name the ones from this year or all right, let's go. I don't know about this year, but I'm gonna from this gen. I'm gonna do this gen. So uh -huh. again, Warframe. Warframe mm. does shit, shit is shitting on most of these games. Warframe legit came out free to play. So look at like No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky came out. People were mad. They didn't deliver. Didn't have no promises. Mm -hmm. That game was full price when it dropped. And and Bro. Anthem. I'm gonna say Anthem. Shout out to Kingdom Hearts. Anthem. <laughs> full price game. Sixty dollars. Came out. Yo, it was gonna be this, this, and that. Blah. Warframe. That game don't even know what it is, but it's constantly getting updates. It's free to play. That game do not know what it is. Every time you cut that game on, if you take a break, it's a whole different game. That game Yo, do bro. not know what it's going to be. It's Sometimes open that shit world is a space now. spider. It's open world. It's fucking, um, what's the word? Fucking um, instance base. Fucking PvP trash. Still doing PvP. Still updating the melee combat. Still up updating the um, movement, mobility options. Giving you mm -hmm. a new Warframe every other month. Takes Warframes out of the fucking what's it called loot? I don't know. They they get rid of the fuck certain loot that you can't get at all anymore. That game don't know what it is. Consist consistent fan base that's growing more and more every month, fucking month. Every time they drop an update, that shit trending on Twitter. Mm. These sixty dollar games, and again, they mm. don't know what it's gonna be. These sixty dollar games out here, like yo, this game's gonna be the next fucking crazy shit. Flop. Yo, they drop the game exactly how the game is, and they give you an update. You know what the update does? Oh, it's a balanced tweak, and then it's it balances it. It tweaks this, but then something else is messed up. It's like, bro, this game yep. is trash, bro. Mm. Straight booty cheeks. How? Like, and then like, like I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, we played war. Like, I'm not. This is not just Warframe, but Warframe. Me, remember, we played it when it's like it was in beta or alpha. Beta, the alpha. And like all you could do was just like play, you do like a couple missions, all levels look all exactly levels the look same. The same. <laughs> yeah, two they look exactly the same. None yeah. of that not stuff you had, clans, none of that. And then out of nowhere, bro, you got people spaceships and and, and uh open world and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And like who would have thought like a free to play game would become that? It's, at the end of the day, it's like a game will improve itself as long as the people put their time and the fans like it and spend their money into it. So at the end of the day, they're still making their money plus even more, and they're putting it right back into the game. These other people don't take that money, and it's just going straight to them at the end of the day. It, it sounds like the issue is not so much the games, but the companies that's running the games. Because, yo, when the game comes out, like No Man's Sky, once they make it, okay, we're done with it. We're not doing anything else with it. No. We're not updating, uh -huh. making any DLCs to fix anything. This is the game, take it or leave it. Now, even though I shit that, on War, uh, No Man's Sky, they have been making a comeback, and it does look like yeah. the, it's it. It does seem like it's the game that it was supposed to be. But again, Warframe is uh, free. No man. No fact. Show one of the most. Remember that one game? It's like, like some of the most complex games. Eve Online. Remember that? Eve Online. Yes, like, that they were. I never, I never played it, but I heard it's so complex, man. And that's yes, a dude. Play game, like, Yes, dude. I I will give Eve Online the biggest credit because they their world is so big, so yes. immersive, and then the 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 dev team they take care of their community. In in my opinion, See? As, like so, it's yo that that game is so big that with so much politics. Real, right? It is um to start, yeah, to start. 
Yeah. Was it always free? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. I, really I remember know. it came out for like PS3, like way back. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. PS. I think it was PS3. No, I think it's just PC. Be honest with you, bro. I'm well, maybe I mean, like I, that maybe. era. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that time, that time frame. Oh. Uh, but regardless, you know, not not, not every free to play game developers can make it. You know, it's not always hundred percent successful. But at the same time, it's not the same with you know a triple A title making. You know, big bank or profit off of a game. At the end of the day, it's all about the gameplay and if people really care about it. A lot of these free to play developers, it seems like, you know, they like their games. And then if the, if the fan, the community really likes it and they spend money on it and then they give them, you know, ideas on what to improve, they can take that and and create an even better game. So no, honestly. It was not free to play when it dropped. It wasn't? No. It wasn't free oh, to play until 2016. But sometimes making games free to play make more people play. It's like a bigger audience will play a game if it's free because they ain't gonna spend money. If they like it, they'll buy it. It's like with, you know, how people used to pirate games, right? Some people actually pirate the game and they'll buy it if they like it. At the end of the day, it's just like you buy something, what if you don't like it? It's like, dang, I spent all this money, made an investment, and this game is great, booty cheeks. <laughs> Instead of, oh, it's free. If I like it, I'll keep playing it. And you know what? I'll throw them some money, throw them 10, 20 dollars and buy some skins or something like that, you know? And it's it's possible, but games should be free from now on, bro. <laughs> you know what? Cause of COVID, man is broke. No stimulus checks coming in. I want some free <laughs> games. <laughs> I want, I want said no free stimulus games. checks. <laughs> no stimulus. Well, all right, so what's, what's the argument? Bro? What's the argument? <laughs> Why my the, argument? Yeah, what's the argument? Why shouldn't games be free? I mean, the simple fact is people need to make money regardless of like it, whether it's a microtransaction or it's an upfront cost. Mm -hmm. People need to make money. You, like, yeah, you could have like a strong base of free to play players, but at the end of the day, you're going to need to pay these people to pay the devs because they can't be sitting on their computer for, you know, 30 hours, 40 hours a week trying to fix it and make a patch and then they don't see any profit out of it it's like people gotta eat too sorry oh, why these why these games with these big ass budgets mm -hmm. be flopping though it sounds like the shitty companies rather than shitty you know than than anything else like yeah oh your game is terrible okay take the constructive criticism make it better invest time in it but the big company is like okay our, our profit margins are we we met our goal. We don't really care about what happens after that. That's more of a company issue than, you know, the developers or the game itself. Hmm. And why they keep dropping these flops? Square's a good company. <laughs> why did Marvel Avengers suck so bad? Yo, that's what I'm I, saying. How you gonna? Oh, go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening to this. I one. think it was Disney trying to push that game out. I th because that game had a lot of issues and they needed at least another year to get that thing right. At least. But but it seemed like oh wait we're we're kind of in this like this Marvel lull when Endgame just came out. So we're like okay this game has to be out like yo because we're we're not getting the next Marvel phase of movies till like 2021. So I was like oh. like yeah you probably should have waited though. Just to hold people down, but honestly, bro, it's like, yo, you drop a game with a big budget. If you triple A, they're expecting big budget gameplay, video, cinematics, graphics, all that. But like, when you, when you say triple A, Todd, you're expecting like a lot of money put in production, and then when it does, and when it feels so cheaply, like cheaply produced, you know what I mean? It's just like a slap in the face. And then, yeah, let's say you have a free to play game like Warframe, but the combat system and stuff, the combat system is pretty complex i guess they got a pvp and all this stuff and they're adding more to it before it was never like that now they're adding more to the game and it's just like with them making more money they make the game even better instead of these people putting so much money to a game straight being bull crap and they they get what they recoup whatever losses they made and that's it like oh let's just make it we'll bring a brand new game instead and see if we make if we well, uh, i got a question I qu yeah question for y'all so a game like last of us which is a strictly story-based game. You're playing it for the story. You play it maybe like two, three times through, and then you're done with it. How would a developer make their money off of a game like that if it's free to play? So I think they could easily, um, hmm. 
I like I'm saying, you do like skins and shit. Like skins probably would work. Um, I think it would be hard. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, but I'm I don't saying think easy, but to make their money oh. back, that's a great question, actually. Yeah, because even take Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda has never really See, been an online type game. You play yeah, it like two, or three times. How are you making money off of that? What is if it's supposed to be impact? free? Say what? What is Genshin Impact though? See, that was a good. Oh, I thought that was a, that was a good. No, 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 no. Last of Us, because that would be hold hard. On, hold on. But Zelda, Genshin Impact is damn near Zelda, bro. But Genshin online what? though, that's the difference. I think because it's online you, play. Like if you're playing online, yeah, I can see the difference. But, but Genshin is constantly updating their story. They're they're like, saying, it's and it's also it's literally, literally built like Zelda, like the last Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. It's literally, yes. it's damn near the same shit. Like it's it's um the only difference is like the character switching, but the, that that the concept and the overall core gameplay is kind of same. It's for exploring. You're doing a story. You don't really have to rush to do the story. There's the dungeons that you kind of don't have to do, but you can do. Um, Zelda's more or less, uh, Breath of the Wild is more or less the same, and that's a um, what. The way Genshin makes their money is through the gotcha system, which is basically, okay, you're paying or you're playing to try and get new mm -hmm. characters that will add to the story or add... Yeah, you know, but I think the, Zelda, could easily, thing. Zelda could easily follow that system and make it work. They could, but then you're adding more heroes than Link. Yeah. You really want Link to become a side character in his own story? Why his not? Own game? Look at the Wars game. It's the time for these other characters to start getting more shine. I want to play as more Zoras. I want to use that bird, dude. I want to use motherfucking <laughs> Zelda, bro. Zelda is the third motherfucker with the Triforce. She's the third per third piece of the fucking Triforce. That comes from the gods. And you can't use her in 90% yeah, of the game? Honestly, bro. You don't even see her fight in 90% of the game. Yo, you got a point. They should make a spinoff. They should really make a Legend of Zelda spinoff where you really play with Zelda trying to save Link or something. That bitch is a god. That's the goddess that? power. The Triforce of Wisdom, yeah! Yeah, but like, you know, play with Zelda and, and save Link or something. Hmm? Wasn't that supposed to be Hyrule Heroes or something like that? Yeah, the, the Warriors games. The Zelda Warriors. Yeah. But, There's one coming oh, out you can use the other people. Oh yeah, the second one. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna get that. Impulse I'm buying that. fucking ninja. But this is what I, this is stuff I've been saying before the Warriors games. Like, yeah, there's a lot of characters I would love to use in Zelda and love to. Link doesn't even have that great of a background. If you break Link down as a character, he's just a random hero. He could literally be anyone. He's a random exactly. dude who dies and comes back to life. So, yeah, I love Link. Like, he's Link. But in terms of, like, the other characters have more background than him. I'd rather use some other niggas. They have cooler stories sometimes. Yo, have like Especially a game Majora's backstory, Mask. Bro. Majora's Mask, you literally took the mask of dead heroes with these cool background stories. And you use their like their power. I could easily have a gotcha game where I could use those characters. You could, oh yeah, you could. So yes, I would definitely but, like that. But Last of Us again would be hard. Like you'd have to. Yeah, that's a little bit different. Story based games. The I multiplayer see a bit more. in it. They kind of started doing some funky shit like that, but in terms of like the story, the game was mostly the story. People bought it for the story. I thought the multiplayer was gonna be trash. So how do you do that for a, a story game? I'm not sure. Um, I think you could, yeah. you could probably throw some kind of gotcha system in it, but that would probably turn people who are into hardcore stories off. I'm not gonna argue that. But yeah, I, that's a great question. But I do think people are starting to figure out how to make these single player games. Cause I feel like even though Genshin has four player co-op, I feel like it's more centered around single player. And I do, but I think devs are starting to figure out like, Okay, we can make free to play single player games with with stories because Genshin has a story, and uh, people apparently love the background for the characters and, and the lore for that game. Um, even though I don't pay attention to it, um, so I think there is a ways to make it work, and I do think we're gonna see more games like Genshin in the future. Um, how do you make it oh, work? Definitely. Again, how do you make it work for The Last of Us, where something that was purely story focused? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Unless you do some source rash shit and sell people the story. Ew. Oh no, no. Ooh. Nah, bro. It, yo, how, how, the fact that you had a yo, that's a, one of the biggest reasons why I would say games should be free to play. How you gonna <laughs> have me beat the game? I, I remember I told you this. I was like, yo, bro, I beat sorry. the game. 
And then I found out that wasn't even a true ending. You had to buy the true ending, bro. Like, <laughs> who does that? Uh, Why? Where do you have to buy a, an ending of a video game? You know what I did? I was like, yo, fuck y'all, Capcom. I'm going on YouTube, man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I watched that shit for free, bro. I'm sorry that's, for cursing, that's, but that's, that's a on slap the in the face. That's on the company. That's not on. That's not on the game itself. Yeah, well, it's this company's fault. Well, we think shit should be free to play. Yeah, like if you make it out, I honestly like if this a game like a Swords Wrath, that kind of style, I could see that being free to play. Avengers should have been. Free I could see play. that type of style. Yo, yeah, I agree. Avengers. Yeah, yeah. Marvel's Avengers probably should have been free to play. They should have used the yeah, gotcha yeah. system oh, there. That would have been good. They should have. Like, oh, honestly, you, they should have just made a good game. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you know, they brought that, bro. They just took the name like, to make, just to make some money, man. That's all they did. These movies based off for of, um, games based off for of movies and stuff. They always trash it. Thanks. They need to make a new Marvel Ultimate Alliance four. Well, like I'm not. Official. Well, yeah, not the official. third one came out. What? Not, not on the Wii, year? bro, but like on the PlayStation, Xbox. I think they, they need, need to go do back to. But the Marvel on the Switch was really good. Um, it definitely didn't feel like the other games. Like I probably still have more fun nah. with the first two or the first one. The first one's my favorite. I'm gonna be honest. The first one, my favorite. Yeah. The first one and the yeah. X Men Legends. X Men Legends one and two, and then Marvel Ultimate Alliance ones are probably my favorite in terms of that um, genre slash series. Um, yeah, agreed. But these last one, this last one was kind of missing some of that. I don't know some of that shit that made the other ones really good. Like. Um, I thought Avengers was gonna be like the triple A new or next gen version of those games, and that shit was a flop, bro. <laughs> Mm, nah, like, they, 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 they try to make it too complicated. Like they want to make this whole system around the game and not a game around the system. If that makes sense, like they they like they want to they wanted to implement like the Destiny's system and and turn the game into that. And like, what do you like? They wanted to like you do instances and you farm gear and you do and you level up your character, you get points and you got you spec anyways. Where people just want to be superheroes and beat people up. Like people don't yeah, really exactly. like a gear system is cool and all, but like I don't know. Like we're not really not for superheroes. People. Yeah, not. <laughs> I'm not trying to put some armor on the whole. Seriously. I should already be smashing. Pause. As soon as the game starts, I should be able to like toss anything and everything. Well, not not every superhero would need needs a gear system because I could understand it for Iron Man or like like mm-hmm. Captain America to an extent, but Thor is pretty much him and his hammer. He's a you, don't, you don't really, yeah. yeah they're, they're just they're, again they try to make this system like they try to copy these this new. MMO light system and instead of just making a really cool co-op action game and they try to give you they try to give you too much at once because the story too they were all like the story is going to be dope the story was mediocre at best and honestly I'd argue the story is better than the co-op and that's not saying much that's not saying much and even and the story should have been co-op and everything they, that was exclusive to the story could have easily been a co-op mission um it should have just trash I, they were all over the place uh-huh. it was worse than like if you ask me like i'd rather play like ff15 in my opinion wasn't that bad of a game you could tell that they didn't know what they were fucking doing but at least as a whole i feel like you got your money's worth yes and it and it worked like there was no real like glitches or anything that i remember um marvel just didn't work (laughs) it just didn't work and i didn't i didn't feel like i was with the story wasn't long there's not that many missions even on co-op um yeah it was just that wasn't that great plus avengers are trash it's all about x-men x-men are better yeah Nobody likes Avengers. Facts. If it wasn't for the movies, Avengers wouldn't be bothered. So yeah, that's nobody would like Captain movie. America. Nobody would like Captain America. Such a he herb. He's a frisbee. He's a herb. <laughs> Iron Man's the only one people probably fucked with before the movies. That was like, oh, he's cool. He flies. He's in the armor. But everybody yeah. else. And the Hulk, Thor, bro. The Hulk. And Hulk. 
Even Thor, though. Thor was shaky, Thor was, bro. Thor, Thor is a... Oh, my God. He was such a... I wouldn't say a goody-goody, but he had no depth as a character yeah, prior to the movies. nobody gave a fuck about Thor, dude. Mr. Nobody gave a fuck think. about Black Widow. Black Widow? Seriously. Nobody cared about Thor until he took his shirt off. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yo, facts. Um, oh, I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the back to the original point, though. Video games should be free. I think I'm gonna say gonna, that. I think we're gonna start seeing a lot more free to play games. Slowly but the, surely. Yo, free to play used to be like a um, like people didn't like the fuck with free to play games. Like you say free to play, like ew, it's probably gonna be trash. You're probably gonna have to buy everything. Like yep. it's really free. And free like to play, flash play games. even gets an impact. Like I have like all these characters, and I haven't spent a dollar in this game. Same, same. Uh, I just got this electric Back. chick with the arrows. Oh, she she's pretty she's pretty tight. She's Yo, pretty I got I, I got the fire dude with the big sword. He's pretty nice. Oh, you got that nigga. Yeah, I want that yeah, nigga. that dude is beast. But yeah, that, bro, I pretty much got a legit team. I haven't spent a dollar, and I'm like, my team's so lit. I'm like, I don't even know if I want anybody else. <laughs> like, I, right. I'm legit happy with my drop team. Drop a new character. Just wait. They gonna drop that new character. Like, y'all want that? They need more black in the game. That's my only complaint. <laughs> well, I mean, Yo. it is a Japanese game, so it's Chinese. It's so not much. even Japanese. It's Chinese. Okay. Yo, they out on the sun all day, bro. They need to get darker. Yo, imagine <laughs> have a video yeah. game where you could tan while staying outside, bro. That shit would be crazy. You stupid. Oh my god. You're so dumb. Right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is a random yeah, ass this, shit. This, this, <laughs> you get points hard. for how dark you is. All right, so what, Chris? What what do these games that are charging sixty seventy dollars gonna have to do to compete with these free to play games? Because these free to play games, in my opinion, are shit. Nah, no, I I agree that the the, the free to play games are they've upped their they up up. their value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now it's time for these companies that are selling these sixty dollar it's going to be seventy dollar games to step up their value, because something like look at look at Spider Man, Spider Man that came out a couple years like two years ago, they did a great job in terms of making the game perfect upon release, and then they just added content on the back end to make it even better. As long as on the front end you have a great product, and that's going to come through like testing and crowdsourcing. I mean not crowdsourcing, but um. Got the got the word, but <laughs> yeah, client testing. Yeah, it, it's that's the only way. You're gonna have to keep doing more betas, more more trial runs to make, get the thing perfect I, upon I release. I want to talk to a game dev, and I want to realize. I want to I want to find out why Avengers flop. I want to find out why Anthem flop. They those games had some huge budgets. Like what went wrong? What went wrong during the production? What what was the problem? Cause like, there's gotta be a reason, right? Like, the money was you know, there. Be the graphic, the game look. Even, even I'll give Anthem this. Like playing Anthem, like gameplay wise, it wasn't bad. Like it, the controls were responsive. Uh, flying was cool. Messing with your robot was cool. It was just it didn't have no soul. Like that's why I just felt big and empty. And mm. Avengers 2, Avengers was like, the core of it feels like it could have been really good, but, like, the game just didn't work for one. That was my biggest complaint. Like, the game just, too many glitches, too many issues, and, like, the content just wasn't there. The There wasn't too many boss fights. I feel like superhero games, villains are just as big in superhero games, oh yeah, just as important yes, as superheroes as important. for superheroes in terms of every like everything, the comics, the movies, um, video games, like, and I feel like even that's where Spider Man um, was kind of weak, even though they did a, a dope like um, fighting a lot of villains towards the end. Um, I feel like boss fights are very important in those games, especially when the villains are very dope in comics. Um, but yeah, like just what happened, bro? Like, what are y'all doing over there? Like, it, right, there's time. no excuse. That's not bad. 
There's no excuse, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, where's the excuse at? Why do y'all fuck up? Did y'all just rush it? Was it should it? Why? And then why are y'all rushing it? I think if you ask those questions before you get to talk to the game dev, the game dev isn't gonna want to come talk to you, bro. He's gonna be like, uh, I had to t- I want to talk to the CEO. Whoever I gotta talk to, who was whoever was like leading the the the, the director or whatever. Yo, like that's who I want to ask these questions to. Like, what happened? Cause like I'm, a, I'm a, we're Marvel fans, man. B- probably bigger Marvel fans than I'm, uh than most people. Like we've been playing Marvel games at least forever. Like if something has the yeah, Marvel dude. name attached to it, I I want to check it I, out. I want every reason to buy it. But dude, I still remember the old Incredible Hulk game that came out for I think it was PS One. Y'all sort y'all remember oh, that one? We got to play both Bruce. Was it? Yeah, open? man. Yeah, that game was lit. Yo, that game was so beast. I love that game. And then even going all the way back to like um, N64. Was it? No, no, Sega. Sega had the uh, Spider-Man game, wasn't it? I'm Maximum Carnage. Yeah, Sega had. Was Maximum Carnage? Yeah, had too. Maximum Carnage. And yeah, it's just the yeah. Way. And then the X-Men joints. Mm-hmm. What's yeah, the what X-Men saying? joints called again? Because I remember playing one at your house, Lamb. Oh, Sega, Sega had the, um, oh, was it was, I can't think of the first, it was like X-Men 1, it was X-Men 2. And was uh, I know there's two of them on Sega. Nah, uh, then the, both of them were co-op. X-Men 1 and 2 were co-op. Those was just lit. I don't know what they called. But then on, on Sega. On PS1, X-Men, um, was it the, the, the fighting game? I forgot what it's called. Academy? Oh, Mutant Academy? Mutant yeah, yeah, Academy. Mutant Academy. Dead yes. Dead. Oh my god! Yeah, I was, was fucking up people at Havoc, bro. Yo, Havoc was that dude. Havoc yeah, was so my that was dude. my boy right there. That was my dude right there. Of course you, of course you chose Nightcrawler. Yeah. Did Nightcrawler have a sword? He had a sword in that one. And two. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. The first one. I don't remember. But he was. I Yo, honestly, bro, I might have to download that and get out of. That game probably so thing. trash now. You probably cut that game off like. Ugh. Yo, what is this, man? <laughs> it's like, yo, I see a fast, fast. I'm the. This should have been free to play. This should have been free to play. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should have been hitting that honestly, game out of the motherfucking game. Honestly, bro, you know what I'm about to, you know what we should start doing, bro? We should just start breaking out these games we played back in the day that was good that just seemed like they just didn't stand with the times as trash. Like, this should be a free to play game. Free to play title. This should be a free to play game. Y'all should just sell the characters because this game's not worth it, bro. No facts. It's time to start gotcha roasting everything, man. Out of love. Out of love, though. Out of love. Wait till they, wait yeah. till they drop a fighting gotcha game. Yo, that would be crazy. Uh, I, I don't think it'd sell. I, would I like, don't think it'd It'd have to be really good. It'd Not have for to a fighting game. Fear. I don't fighting see games, it. I don't know about free to play. It's just the budget, yo. Because every time like you see a free to play fighting game, it's not all that. Is there a free to play like, fighting game? Brawlhalla. Oh, Whoa. that game's not bad though. But that game doesn't, well, compare, in my opinion, don't compare take free to play bro Hall or compared to like a, a Super Smash, the same kind of style, but the budget. Yeah, different. I don't think it works for fighting. I don't think Brawl Hall is bad. I just don't think it's one of those. I can't take it not. seriously. No, I can't call. I want to call it bad, but it's just when you compare it to Smash, it is a different. Smash free is to play its own league, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, no, there's no other game right now. Smash Ultimate. If, if they keep that same momentum and the other sequels, no one's really touching that shit in terms of just like content. Yeah. yeah. Like Smash, Smash, Smash in a free to play game, and you had to like gotcha all those. <laughs> that would be great. Nah. Yeah, I would do that. Mm mm. Mm-mm. You are, why not, no. bro? Like you sit there, you can start with the bare minimum, but unlock all your characters like how you did an ultimate, except it's free. I don't know. You can pay to unlock all of them. You know what I mean? But you don't have to. I no, I'm saying if that's something I would love if they added back into video games, or especially fighting games, where you have to play so many hours to unlock a character. Because I remember having to play what was it, it like twenty hours straight to unlock Musu in Melee. Ultimate, you had to unlock everybody, right? You yeah, did. You yeah. started with eight characters. You thought they rich. Yeah, no, ways. but but then you had to like buy DLC to get the rest of them. Yeah, but those are mm, those characters are lit though. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying it's like you're missing out on like what like thirty percent of characters by not buying DLC. If they just now, had them 
to like, oh, you have to put in so many hours to unlock this character. See, like, say, I say, hate, I hate doing this because I agree with you, but I also give Smash the pass because, first of all, they gave us so many. It's the biggest roster at launch. It was the biggest roster ever. Like, they brought back all the old characters. They added a bunch of new characters. Um, and then well, all, then, the, all the characters uh, they're adding for the most part are are third party characters. So they're probably paying mad money for the license to these characters, like Terry, um, what's the other Square Enix character, Hero, um, Joker. So they're probably paying, I don't think it's wrong for them to charge for those characters, but I do feel you, I'd rather unlock them. But I did unlock Well, well at the same time, characters. you could take something like Tekken or like Free Street Fighter, uh, Marvel versus Capcom, all these things. Like, okay, yeah, you're gonna have DLC, but I would still prefer to just unlock these characters by putting in hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Street Fighter actually now has a way you can um, buy DLC with with Playtime. Don't quote me on that, but I think you can actually buy DLC characters now with, with Playtime. All right. And I do like that. I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty positive. I do agree though. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I think slacks on that. Or not Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom slacks on that. They should have unlockable characters. Um, Tekken, I don't think Tekken does unlockable. I haven't played the Tekken from the start in a long time. But yeah, I do like that system though. I think Street Fighter, people actually fuck with Street Fighter now because of how they've been implementing the DLC and unlockables, and now there's a lot of ways to unlock it with just playtime. Now, I think it is um, very, it takes a lot of time too, especially if you're not a hardcore player, but mm -hmm. I do think it's possible. And I'd rather it be hard and possible than not possible at all. That's why I'm with you I on that. I do understand you gotta make money, so, but, like you, I rather unlock my characters, especially in fighting games, because there's no content in fighting games. There's no digital There's all you can do is beat each other up. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Do we got anything else to say on this matter? Nah, you know, honestly, mm. I'ma still say it like, I feel like games later on should be free, depending on the type of game it is, it should be free to play. If it's a story-based driven game, mm -hmm. I, I could see the upside from some charging if it's really mainly like uh like you said a last of us or a um heavy rain for example you know something like yeah. that i, I could see you paying for it because that's the, the you're paying for the story it's like a movie you know that you can exactly. play over all, multiple times but and in general free to play sort of becoming a staple now for up and coming developers or just you know people to actually find a way of making a game where if somebody likes it if like early stages and it's not good they could just mm -hmm. scrap it if it's good they'll just keep continuing improving on it L lamb how do you feel about like call of duty with the uh free to play a battle royale shit? bro that was the smartest thing they ever did <laughs> <laughs> think about it. like yeah like you know for example because they had a battle royale style like you know people play battle royale battle royales and it's free mm -hmm. so they're um the battle royale and the original black ops 3 you know, you had to buy the game to play. Instead of instead of that, instead of having to own the game, you can download the game, just the, the Royale itself, and still play Call of Duty with a whole bunch of people. Like, that was the smartest thing they did. And you see how many views they get on Twitch now? Now they start throwing, like, tournaments and everything for it. Like, I that. that was a smart thing that they did. Yeah, man, like, it, like the Battle Royale and Call of Duty, they definitely... I didn't play too much, but they definitely did the thing with it. So before like, let's say like this, some, oh, keep going, yeah. Keep going. I'm just saying like maybe not. Let's say you pay for the story for a game, but like the multiplayer part should be free. I was gonna you know say. What I mean? So how do you feel about free to play modes? Like okay, yeah, you buy the story, but maybe the free to play multiplayer. Oh hell, is that a better what? better way to move what? anything in the future? Yeah, I mean that that would work. I, it just depends I would on agree. the type of game. Like, like, like you brought up Heavy Rain. How in God's name are they going to make something like that multiplayer? Uh, no facts. Heavy Rain. We have. <laughs> wait, what? Bro. I beat that game the first day I borrowed it. Yo, play, Heavy first, Rain. Wait, 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 wait. Is it, um, 
what's that shit called? The Walking Dead, Telltale's. Oh yeah, beat that. Not yeah. free to play. Or nah, it it's not. You had, you had to pay for it. Had to buy. Yeah, it. I, th I think so. Yeah, I think you had to pay for it. All right, never mind, never mind, never mind. Honestly, that'd be a smart free to play title, but. Oh, uh, the only way I. <laughs> I can think they can do it is like literally selling you every chapter and at that point just buy the game yeah that's what I do what I did is I just waited till all the whole season came out and I just took got all at once in a bundle yeah so yeah it's smarter uh, why well, wait for the yeah. stories I mean I'll, I'll wait and play everything at once yeah. yeah it was good though I recommend it definitely do Clementine that's that's my negro that's oh girl, my yeah girl. That's, that's that girl that's yo that girl she right go there. yo I'm telling you boy yo like Lee that's my man too, Lee. Clementine, all the way. I don't want to spoil oh, yeah. it though for you. E. I, I'm not gonna spoil it. I don't like those games, man. I'm just I want to kill shit. Bro, you um, do. Kind you of. Do. You do. <laughs> you know what I mean, you do. bro? Like I'm not really Some... a big fan of the whole watch a story. I do think that's gonna be a bigger thing too. Netflix and shit is starting to do it. Interactive. Yo, a Netflix games. interactive video game. Yeah, bro. They, they did that with, um, Yeah, it's already out. Black Mirror? Dark Mirror? Something like Black that. Mirror, yeah. One of them titles. Bandage, and then Bandage, DC Smash, just yeah. did it with um, Jason Hood story or whatever. I'm about, to start, I'm about to look into that one. I forgot what it's called. Yo, game. Times is changing, boy. It is different. I think <laughs> people are need to find more interactive ways to make their money because just seventy dollars I really worry that seventy dollar games aren't the price tag is not gonna reflect the quality of the game. They're like, yo, we believe this is seventy dollars because it's triple A. Like Avengers, like An Anthem. I keep wanting to say Anthem. Anthem, um there's other games Does it keep looking fine. at us? Yes, yeah, it's handsome. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> but and I, I do You're think early. free to play games, and especially now that we got Fanny Star on, on online too in the West, I think that's one of the better fr free to play game systems in an Yo, MMO. they did good on like, that. Now there's yeah, actually, PSO. There's actually good Before free to play games now. Yeah. Like at first, there was a time where free to play games were all kind of just like fucking. Yeah, it's free to play, like more free to start or whatever. But now I think there's ex games that actually provide like some actual competition to seventy dollar games, where games that are free, but even kind of make you want to spend money because it's so free. I'm like, oh, ten dollars here, there. Yeah, too. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I put I put you know forty fifty hours in this free to play game. I feel like I should probably pay a little bit. Yeah, the obligation I'll, comes in. Maybe I want to start and buy me a hat. <laughs> and nobody else got. But all right, I think we should. I think we should call it here. I don't know how long this video was. Yeah, that's it. This you is like it. forty minutes. Oh God! Oh, we can cut out like. This is the longest oh, episode. I don't know what I'm dropping. Y'all be safe though. We out. Oh, oh um, y'all. Uh, if y'all make it to this end, I should have asked it at the beginning. What do y'all think? Y'all think games should move more into a free-to-play type of uh, system format? Or do y'all think y'all like the uh, $60 game? People like owning their games, too. So I guess that's also the... Um, Would have been another counter-argument. Actually, owning your games. But yeah, like, subscribe, follow, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. Yeah, want to see some more pretty, pretty team pretty niggas in action, bro. Subscribe, you know what I'm saying? All right, we out of here. Deuces. <laughs>